Hey guys, I'm Zach Steinhauser and I'm running around the woods today because springtime is upon us. That means days are getting longer, temperatures are getting warmer, and also reptiles are out and about. During the springtime, reptiles are coming out of their own form of hibernation called estivation. And when reptiles estivate, it means they bury themselves just a few inches under the leaf litter where they're going to stay all winter long. So we just came upon this little creek bed and water is one of the best places to find reptiles and that's because water attracts reptiles food source. Uh, I got a fly flying in my eyes, but um, you can find snakes love to frequent water ways because they bring frogs and salamanders. Turtles love it because they eat tadpoles. Even lizards come and they'll eat the bugs that are scurrying around on the bank. So we're going to walk this. Hopefully we'll find something good. Come check this out. Now, you're in for a treat right here. Because if you look, I gotta find it first. If you look right over my shoulder, you're gonna see an eastern box turtle. These guys can be found from Maine all the way down to Florida and even as far west as the Mississippi River. All right. Now let's get a better look at this guy. Now I can tell this turtle is a male because of two main reasons. Reason one is that he has a cup-shaped plastron or bottom shell and that helps serve the purpose to keep him on top of the female when he's trying to mate. Now the other reason I can tell this turtle is a male because it has bright orange colors characteristic of box turtle males. They can range from bright oranges like this one here or they can be bright yellows, even bright reds. Part of that is to attract mates, and then the other one is to blend in with the forest floor. Now, when most people think of turtles, they think of lakes and rivers and oceans. But with box turtles, they're land-based terrestrial turtles scurrying along the forest floor, feeding on slugs and snails and berries and other insects along the ground. Now the coolest thing about box turtles is that they have what's called a hinged plastron or bottom shell. So when a turtle feels threatened, they're able to pull their legs in, pull their heads in, and use their shell as their main defense against predators. So watch here. See, he's totally shut. Nothing can get into his shell and he's not gonna come out. <laughs> Well, thank y'all for coming out with me and let me talk to you about this guy and thank you for putting up with me. But I think it's time we let this little turtle on his way. 